Welcome STEM engineers. Today's challenge is a marble run challenge. Your challenge is to create the slowest marble run possible. Now you can do this using a marble run kit or you can do this by using cardboard and tape and creating a marble run all your own. But the goal is make it last a long, long time. Now you may notice if you have a marble run kit that the best way to do this is to use every possible piece in that kit that slows the marble down. If you're doing it using cardboard you can look at things like adjusting the angle so that the marble doesn't go as fast or having it go around some corners to slow it down. Lots of different possibilities. Put some little objects in the way like a if you've seen The Price is Right, the Plinko board slows things down, so having little obstacles like that that won't stop the marble but will force it to slow down and change its path are going to help as well. And the length of your marble run is going to be important as well. The longer you can make it, the longer it will take to get through it. So good luck, have fun with it, and enjoy engineering! Next, I'm going to share with you a time-lapse video of my children building their slowest marble run ever. But what this time-lapse video is missing is the part that went into the build before they actually started building. When we are addressing a challenge in STEM class, there are five aspects that we want to hit. And the first one is to ask yourself, what is the challenge? So in this case, the challenge is to build the slowest marble run ever. The second aspect is that you have to brainstorm some different ideas. And the third is that you have to plan. It's not until we get to the fourth step that we're actually building and doing some revising and testing. And then finally, the fifth step is sharing out what the results were, which will be at the very end of this video. What the stop motion video does not share is that for about five minutes before they actually started building, they looked over the pieces they had to work with and they started talking about how are we going to do this because my son had the idea that he wanted three pieces to touch the floor or to touch the table so that it would be sturdier because he knew that they were going to have to build really tall and as you build tall things get really wobbly. Juliet wanted to build with just two legs touching the table so they discussed the different merits of that. They kind of built a little prototype. Justin showed that Juliet that it kind of her design kind of was really wobbly and his was more stable so they decided that they would go with the three legs. And then they also broke the tasks down so that everybody knew what their job was going to be so that it wasn't both of them trying to build on the same thing at the same time. So Justin was building the bottom half, Juliet was building a top half. So you'll notice that they're each kind of building their own part but they've got a plan in their heads of how it's going to come together in the end. Now I'll show you the time-lapse video and then at the very end I'll show you how long their marble run took them. 